So Vince is a senior trader at TradingWinds.com. Over the last three dec decades, he has been trading and refining his trading system uh, that are based on technical analysis and price action. Over the last four, uh, over the last few years, his focus has been on teaching people how to become better traders. His systems range from the simple to the sophisticated, and he can uh, you can use these in both the stocks, options, futures, and forex market. So, without further ado, Vince, it is all yours. Great, thank you so much, Hubert, and welcome everybody. Good morning. We've got some great info to share with you today. Um, again, our our presentation today is on a system we call the three simple steps to profit. Now just before we get started, a bit about us here at Trading Wins. We're a group of pro traders with well over 30 years of experience. We're actually real traders and real teachers and we've been designing our own systems and strategies for many years and, and teaching them to people around the globe, uh, anywhere from beginners to experts. Now today I'm actually going to throw in uh, some additional information. I'm going to teach you more than just the three simple steps to profit system, okay? A few of the things that have really worked well for our traders here at Trading Wins, I I'm going to share with you. Number one, six questions to ask yourself before placing any trade. This may seem uh, a little annoying at first, but you'll see just how valuable this really can turn out to be. Also, Lately, we've seen some additional volatility in the markets, I'm, and I'm, I'm going to re reveal to you the one step you can take to eliminate at least half your risk when you're trading in this type of market. I mean, this is something that can help you out right away. Now, I'm also going to share with you what you'll need um, with uh, to apply this system. Uh, I'm going to go through the strategy with you as well, and then we're going to make time for a bit of a historical review, meaning I'm going to bring up some charts that I've annotated with some trade setups from this system. We're also going to do a live trade review together. So if you have any favorite symbols or any stocks you're thinking of trading now, jot them down when to that point in the presentation. Uh, just type the symbols in, in your chat. I'm going to bring up my live chart charting platform and we're going to review those together okay and the whole goal here is to is to find a trade or two uh, for us all to walk away with uh, for the coming week okay and then we're definitely going to make some time for a Q&A as well now I'm just going to put up a couple of poll questions quickly just want to understand who, who the audience is so we can uh, uh, tailor our, our, our comments to you specifically now let us know which market do you trade most? Is it stocks, options, futures, or forex? I'll just give you a few seconds to put that in. Excellent. Well, we've got a lot of uh, variety, a lot of options, forex, and stocks. Excellent. Just one more poll question before we get started. On average, how many trades do you place per month? How active are you? Is it 1 to 10, 11 to 20? Or are you really active uh, 51 to 100, 100 plus? Let us know. Awesome active traders. That's excellent. Great response. Thanks so much for for typing that information in. So, a bit of legal stuff out of the way before we get started. Um, you know, trading it really is a risky business. It's something that uh, if you don't prepare yourself for, um, you you will be taking some losses. So, don't trade with money you can't afford to lose. Okay, and really arm yourself, and and uh, by that, uh, I thought I'd put up uh, my, one of my favorite statements here: uh, "An investment in knowledge pays the best interest." From Benjamin Franklin, it's, it really is so true, so true. And if you don't arm yourself, you're going to end up on a roller coaster such as this. Okay, this isn't meant to be funny. This is very serious. And with the markets you've seen lately, how it can it can swing back and forth, and you really have to prepare yourself. So with that. Let, let me uh, help you in, with this and, and get started, okay? So let's start with the six questions that you should always ask yourself before placing a trade. Number one, is this a clean chart I'm looking at? So in other words, I'm going to show you in a minute an example of a perfectly clean chart, okay? And then I'm going to show you the, a, a choppy, messy chart and just the, what a difference it can make by starting off with a clean chart. Now, also... Is the stock you're looking at in a confirmed trend? When you're trading with the trend, you're, you've already won half the battle, and I'm going to get into a lot more of that in a moment. What is the reason for me taking this trade? 
that comes down to a rule-based plan that you should always have before you get started, okay? And also, how much money can I afford to risk on this trade? This comes down to money management. Now today, we're gonna share with you the the money management rules that our traders here at TradingWinds have been using for many years very successfully. Also, where will I place my profit target and where will I place my stop loss? This is really important. And you may not know the exact target that you're looking for, but you should at a minimum and know which exit strategy you're going to use. Now with the system we use, there's about five different strategies we go through, but one main one that myself and, and the other traders here have been using successfully. So we'll talk a bit more about that later. But here on your screen now is an example of a clean chart. What you should do before you start trading is remove all indicators from your screen and just look at the price bars like you're looking at now. If you can tell in a split second what the trend is or, or the what the direction is of this stock, which here it's clearly trending higher. You've already won half the battle here. Okay, this is very easy to predict as opposed to this choppy, messy chart here. I mean, if you had to guess the next move of this stock, really, would it be any more than just a guess? Okay, and this is what you don't want. You don't want to guess, you want to put the odds in your favor and you want to be able to take an educated guess as to what the next move is. Okay, now, there is more to trading than just having a system. Your approach, your demeanor means a lot when it comes to trading. Okay, if you're very nervous and anxious when you trade and you feel like these characters on your screen right here, you're going to have a very difficult time achieving the type of results that you're really looking for. So how do how do you avoid this? How do you remain calm and have a level head and, and be rational and be able to think through your trades? Because let me tell you, it's a lot more important how you manage a trade once you're in it than your entry point, okay? So the way you do that is with money management. Now, these are the rules, the very rules that we follow here at Trading Wins and have for many years. Number one, as I mentioned earlier, do not trade with money you can't afford to lose, okay? Also, you must trade with an amount small enough that it feels insignificant to you now. For some of you, that'll be a couple hundred dollars. For others, several thousand. The amount is irrelevant, it doesn't matter. What matters is that it feels completely insignificant to you. Again, once you get in a trade, you have to be very calm and be able to think through and follow your plan to manage that trade. And this is one of the best ways to do it. Now, also, you should never risk more than 5% of your account balance in any one trade. With this system, there are going to be multiple setups. You can afford to be selective, be picky, and pick the best ones out of the group, okay? Now, I should say, if you have a larger account, you could even drop that 5% figure down to two and a half. That way you'll still have a very sizable trade on and reduce your risk even further. Now, also, never have more than 50% of your account balance active at any one time, okay? Or 10 trades if you're following the 5% rule. The reason we put this rule in place is because there's so much when it comes to the markets that is completely out of our control. The best example I can give you is 9-11. If you, if you recall back to 9-11, this happened before the markets opened that morning. And they actually, the markets never did open and remained closed the, the remainder of that week. I think it was on a Tuesday and it just re, it remained closed the whole week, opened up the following Monday again. But unfortunately the markets opened at half their value the following Monday. So if you had your full account invested in there. You would have taken a sizable hit. The whole purpose of this is to have at least half your, half your account sitting there to be able to recover from uh, a hit like that. So in fact, after six months after uh, the 9-11 attacks, the markets were right, right back at the highs they were before the attack. So had you had the capital there, you could have quickly recovered with a system like this. Okay. Now, one more rule, never place more than two trades per day. The reason for that is on a day when, for example, the Dow is down 300 points or up 300 and, and you know, the S&P is up or down 30, etc., a, a, a big day one way or the other, you're going to get a lot of setups in that one direction. If you jump in and place 10 trades all in the one day and the very next day the market 
and it goes the opposite direction, you're in the hole right off the bat. So again, there's going to be plenty of setups with this. Be selective, be picky, pick your one or two best uh, per night if, if you're training on a daily time frame that is, and, and go from there. Now, a few other goals that we have here when we trade. Number one is we're, we're really targeting the middle 60% of a move, okay? We're okay with letting the first 20 go because this is a trend uh, following system. And in order for us to confirm that that trend is actually in place, we need to give up that first 20% in the move. The final 20%, we don't kid ourselves. We don't have a crystal ball. We don't know when the end of that move is going to be. If anyone uh, tells you they do, uh, they're lying to you. Plain and simple. So, again, we focus on that middle 60%, and by doing so, we, we've been uh, able to do very well. Now, one of the things I want you to write down today and walk away with is this statement. You will never go broke taking profits. Okay? I continuously hammer this into our traders here. They're actually looking at me across the room smiling because I, I repeat this several times a day. You'll never go broke taking profits. Uh, especially if you're just starting out, this is really one one thing you want to write on your wall and, and never forget. Now, also, leave your ego at the door. This is not about whether you're right or wrong that's important, but it's all about how much money you make when you're right versus how much you lose when you're wrong. Okay, very important. Now, we, we've talked about trending markets versus volatile markets. So what's the real difference? Why, why do we choose trending markets? Again, trending markets are predictable, right? You have the ability to to discern these trends, okay? If you if you can pick out a trend, then the impact on your returns will be substantial. It really will. Okay, versus a volatile market that's completely unpredictable. Okay? You get wild swings back and forth. And when you're trading in that kind of market, the amount of risk you're taking as a trader goes up exponentially. Okay? So how do you deal with that? How do you deal with a market such as this? So the, the trick to it, the one way to eliminate at least half your risk in these markets is to trade low beta stocks. Okay, For any of you who, are, who might not be familiar with beta, beta is a measure of the volatility or systematic risk of a security or a portfolio in comparison to the market as a whole. Let me give you an example. Let's use Amazon as an example. Amazon trades on the NASDAQ 100. Now, if, if it has, a, hypothetically speaking, if it has a, a beta of 1, okay, that means it's, it's correlated with that uh, underlying index. So in other words, if the NASDAQ market is up strong on any given day, uh, Amazon will be up strong, et cetera. So uh, in, in, a, in a volatile market, when you're getting market swings back and forth wildly, the last thing you want is to have a stock that just goes along with that and, and mimics the same pattern. You want a stock with a low beta that sort of does its own thing, sort of beats to its own drum, okay? And the real sweet spot here is that you want to write down is you're looking for a beta of 0.4 or less. Okay, if you can find a stock with point, a beta of 0.4 or less, you're gonna find that it, it, during these times, it's a lot calmer, it sort of does its own thing, and it kind of ignores all that market noise, okay? Now, on the flip side, if you have a stock that has a beta greater than one, that means it's even more volatile than the market, which is the exact opposite of what you're looking for in this kind of market, okay? Follow that, it will really help you. Now, let's start getting into the three simple steps to profit strategy itself. Let me give you a bit of a background first. You know, many, many years ago, we sat down and we're looking for a simple strategy that was really geared more towards conservative investors, but could be used by, by any type of trader or investor. And, and we started by adding a few indicators on our chart. Again, indicators are supposed to uh, provide clarity on your chart. Now, like most people, we were looking for the perfect system, the holy grail, so to speak. So we started adding more and more indicators. Now, what we found is that our accuracy rate went way up, you know, went sky high. But we ended up with a chart that kind of looked like this, a real mess, okay? We ended up with all of these indicators that you see here 
on our chart. Now, when they all lined up perfectly, we we had some great trades. But what we found over the next little while was that our level of activity became uh, less and less. We just couldn't find many trades that had all these indicators lining up perfectly. So in an effort to become more active, without sacrificing our accuracy rate, we started to peel off the indicators one at a time and then would go back, back test and forecast. By forecast, I mean trading with real money and testing it. And what we found is as we removed the indicators, um, our accuracy rate came down slightly. It really wasn't impacted that much, yet our activity level went up significantly. So today, in, with this strategy, we're left with three three things. We have two simple moving averages, okay? And, and you may be thinking it, but we've tried exponential moving averages. We've tried weighted moving averages in the past. And they work well, but over years and years of testing, what we found was that the simple moving averages work best. And we have two of them here that I'll, I'll talk a bit more about in a moment. The third thing we have is the check in money flow, this indicator here. Now, the real, real secret to the system, the secret sauce, the thing that separates this from many other systems are the settings of these indicators. Okay, we do not use the default settings. Over the years, we've been able to, to, uh, to refine it and, and find uh, settings that, that work the best with this system. Okay, now, for any of you just starting out, who may not be familiar with these indicators. Let me just give you a quick explanation. A simple moving average, it, it, it's basically an average that is calculated by adding the closing price of a security for a number of time periods and then dividing this total by the number of time periods, straight average. Okay, now on our chart, what we're going to have are two of them. One is a shorter term average, which will respond more quickly to changes in the price. You'll see sharper turns of that line versus a longer term average that we'll have on there that will be a little smoother, okay? It reacts a little slower to changes in price. Thirdly, we'll have the check in money flow. Now, what this does is measure the amount of money flow uh, volume over a specific period. Think of this as, as money going into the stock versus money coming out of the stock. Now, most of the charting platforms out there will have a default setting of 20 or 21 I've also seen many with a default setting of 14. Again, we we use one slightly different than that uh, that has worked very well for us. Now, what do you need to actually trade this system? The short answer really is not much because um, it, it can be used on just about any charting platform. These indicators are so widely available. Okay, the simple moving average and check in money flow. That's all it is. That's all you need. Any free charting platform out there will have it. Certainly the more sophisticated platforms like Thinkorswim, uh, eSignal, TradeStation, etc. They, they all have them. So um, no need to spend uh, money on software or hardware for that matter. If you're watching this webinar now, you already have everything you need to get started with this system. Okay. So a few benefits of this system before I show you the actual strategy. Number one, It'll work on any mark. This is a basic technical analysis-based system. So any market, globally that is, on any time frame and any price level of security uh, will work. So stocks, options, futures, forex, you can trade them all with this, okay? Also, you don't have to be a very experienced trader. If you're just starting out, the beauty of it is it's so simple to spot on a chart. Uh, you'll notice um, that if you spend a day or two just flipping through charts, looking for these setups, you'll, you'll master it in no time. It's so simple and easy to pick up. Now, it can also be traded on a part-time basis or full-time basis. This really comes down to how much time you have to devote to your trading. If you have a full-time job, a family, etc., we know how limited your time is. I, I would suggest you, you consider trading on a weekly time frame. That way, you take an hour or two on the weekends, you review your open positions, you flip through a few charts looking for trades for the coming week, set up the orders and walk away. Of course, if you are uh, if you have a lot more time to devote to this, maybe you trade full time. 
this would also be great for you. You can drop it down to, to an intraday uh, time frame. The two time frames that work best intraday with this are the 15 minute and the hourly time frame. Okay? I would not go anything less than 15 minute, uh, but the 15 minute hourly work great. All the examples we're going to be showing you today are, are on the daily time frame. That's the one we prefer, uh, but they all work very well. Now, the real benefit of the system is how it helps to grow your account consistently. In a minute, I'm going to bring up a couple of slides showing you performance. One slide will show you the kind of performance we've been able to achieve during uh, a, a more volatile uh, period in the markets. The other one will be a, a period where the markets were trending very strongly, okay? Um, and also, I noticed earlier when I asked the poll question, um, there are a number of, of option traders here. Uh, you will love this system. I, I trade almost uh, uh, exclusively options for, for my account now. and. The benefit of this is you can really leverage this system with options because the the amount you have to invest in any trade is so much smaller, uh, yet you really get some nice trades out of it. Now, uh, you don't have to go into any complicated option strategies like butterfly spreads, condors, calendar spreads, all of that stuff. Simple long calls or long puts is really all you need to really leverage this, okay? Now, let me sh just show you uh, the kind of performance we've been able to achieve. Now, this is a more recent uh, period where there were there was uh, some additional volatility in the markets, more back and forth. Now, what you'll notice are there there are long trades, there are short trades. Okay, there's some higher price stocks here and some lower. You see a three dollar stock here. Okay, um, this was Google before the split, thousand dollar range. So the price level really doesn't matter. Now, what you will notice are that you still have more winners than losers, okay? And the real nice thing with the exit strategies we use, we tend to keep our losers to a minimum while you still get some really nice, some real nice uh, winners here. Now, if any of you are wondering how long we typically stay in a trade, you know, it, it varies. There's some that are, are a day or two, others a bit longer, but on average, if, if you're trading on a daily time frame, you're looking at about a week and a half to two weeks that you'll be in uh, any trade. Okay, let me clean up my chart here and just switch to a period that uh, was a more a more of a trending market. Now, typically, four or five times a year, you're you're gonna find that the Dow, the Nasdaq, the S and P, they're all trending strongly in one direction. Okay, be it up or down, really doesn't matter. But the point is, they're when they're trending strongly together, this is the kind of performance that you can expect from this system. You'll see here I have, I believe it's 30 trades on this spreadsheet. There are only two, two very uh, small losers here and some real nice winners as well. So this is what I meant by the system helps you grow your account consistently, especially if you're starting off with a smaller account. This can really help you take your trading to the next level, okay? Now, let me bring up some, some charts and go over the basics of this strategy with you. So what you're seeing here is a chart of Twitter. Now, uh, let me tell you what, what's on this chart. To the left here, this trade marked with the blue arrows. You see this yellow line here, the, ye the moving average in yellow. That's the shorter term moving average that we will have on our charts. And the one in blue is the longer term. Okay, And at the bottom of your screen, in red is the CMF or the check in money flow. Now we use the check in money flow as a confirming indicator for this setup. So all you're interested in is that that white line down the middle, which marks the zero level, and you're only interested uh, in whether the CMF is above zero or below zero, depending on whether you're going long or short. Okay. So here's the basics of the strategy: the moving average in yellow, the shorter term, must be above the one in blue. Now it's ideal when it just moves above. And this is more than just a simple moving, uh, moving average crossover system because it doesn't have to come from below. It, it, it can be above, come back, touch the blue, and then separate to the upside again. Really doesn't matter. But we want to sort of start off when the moving averages are overlapped and then separate. So 
you need the shorter term above the longer term. The second thing you need is the price bars to be above both moving averages. And then we use the CMF as a confirming indicator. Make sure that is positive or above zero for the long trade. And that would, that would signal your entry in, into this trade, okay? Now, as soon as you identify an entry, your stop loss should be put just below the most recent low. Here in this case, it was around the $39 level. Our entry was around 41. And you can see it was trending nicely and got us out at around the $57 level. So about a $2 risk for a $16 gain in this case. Very nice. Now the exact opposite is true for a short trade. You can see to the right of the screen here, the trade marked in the purple arrows. So um, what you need in this case is the yellow or the shorter term moving average to be below the longer term in blue. You need price bars to be below both. Uh, sorry, the arrow is kind of covering that, but you need them below both, and you need a, a negative or a below zero check in money flow for your entry. You got that, and we were, we were able to squeeze about a $10 profit per share out of this trade. Let me show you a few others. Now, this is Facebook, and the other thing I should mention is there's a handful of, of uh, stocks that will give you only one or two uh, trade setups a year with this system, but then there's many others like Facebook and a few others I'll show you that it just give you setup after setup after setup, especially when they're trending nicely like this. Um, so the other thing you'll notice with these trades that we found over years of testing is that whenever we get a proper setup, the vast majority of the trades tend to go in our favor immediately. You'll see with all these, it, it just tends to go in our favor with no pullback, okay? So that really goes a long way in helping you to manage the trade because, again, it comes down to your, your demeanor, whether you can remain calm and think rationally about how you're going to manage that trade. This will not only help you gain confidence in the system, but it will really help you gain confidence in yourself as a trader, which is extremely important. And the other thing I want to show you in this chart is this short trade here. This is what we would call a retracement trade. Now, if you're just starting out or you're, you're a more conservative trader like we are here, when you're in an uptrend, I wouldn't suggest you take these retracements. This is counter trend trading. You should only be looking for long trades. But I, I put this up here for uh, the more aggressive traders in the crowd who, who are willing to take the additional risk and take this. Now, they don't always work. I can show you an example here with Starbucks, which, by the way, is another stock that will give you trigger after trigger after trigger with this, this uh, system. But you can see in this instance, the uh, retracement trade here did not work. Uh, the nice thing about it was that uh, the exit strategies we used got us out fairly quickly, kept the, the loss to a minimum. Okay, and, and in fact, you'd be able to make that up in the very next trade. But again, you can see here that most of the trades move in your favor right away. When there is a slight pullback, it is slight, uh, but that's, uh, that's the real nice part. Now, here I have a chart of FXY, which is the ETF for the Japanese yen. Again, it works on stocks, uh, ETFs, Forex, and just about any market. Now, what I wanted to show you here, I want to give you one other tidbit, and that is, um, is I want to talk about gaps for a minute. Myself and the other traders here, we don't really like trading with gaps. And this is typically a chart that will give you a lot of gaps. So it's one you, you may want to stay away from. But I wanted to show you here a good example. It gave us this really nice trade to the short side here. Now, if you ever get an entry on a gap, meaning price bars are, let's say, above the two moving averages here, and then on some news event, it gaps lower and you have a proper setup. I uh, mean, and everything else is lined up. The moving averages are lined up. CMF is negative, et cetera. I, I wouldn't enter that. Okay, we do not like entering on gaps. Um, and uh, also, if you're in a trade already, like we were here, and then it gaps in your favor, what you want to do is take at least half your trade off. Okay, bank half your profits, move your stop loss down to break even or better, and then see if there's any additional run. The reason we don't like gaps is because they tend to to reverse and close uh, very often. So, for any of you who might not be familiar with it, the gap, and we, what we refer to as a gap, is a close at one level here and then open 
at a much lower level or much higher in, in the case of an uptrend. So where you get this space in the gap, in the chart, that's what we refer to as a gap. Now typically, price will reverse and go right back to that opening level of the gap here. And I'll show you another example of that now. Let me just clean up my chart. If I go to the chart of GLD Gold, you can see here, we took this, this trade here, the one with the blue arrows, and one day after we got into it, here it gapped. Now it gapped in our favor, which is great. So if you follow that rule that I'm giving you now, but taking at least half your profits off and moving your stop up to break even or better, okay, this would be a winning trade. As opposed to letting it go like this, and it quickly retraces, closes that gap, and stops you out with a small loss. So that's what I mean. That's why um, I, I wanted to let you in on that when, when it comes to gaps. So this one also gave us a nice short trade later on, which made that buy. But uh, I believe there's, no. that's it. I thought I had one more, but let's go into the live trade review. This is the time where if you have a symbol that you'd like me to review, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a quick second here to bring up my live chart and, and take a sip of my drink. I'm gonna ask, uh, my producer just stepped in here for a minute, help me read, read, um, off the symbols. His name's Raul. He's going to help me read off some of the symbols that you're typing in. Uh, they're coming in fast and furious. Okay, great. But I think we have lots of time here to go through some. So let me bring up my live charts, move the mic over to Raul, and I'll be right back. Vince, thanks so much for letting me uh, be a part of this this morning. You woke me up at 6 o'clock uh, Pacific time on <laughs> a Saturday morning to get me yeah. in here. I uh, appreciate it, though. You ready? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. Uh, Don wants to know about Baidu. I know that's one of your favorites. Sure. Can I just, I just want to make one thing. I just realized I have a, a chart of uh, Southwest Airlines here, LUV, on our chart. I just want to um, make a point here of why we go through the exercise of taking all our indicators off our chart here and looking for a clean chart like this. Okay. Not only what, did I mention that when you're trading with the trend, you, that's half your battle, but look at Look at how nice and clean the setups we get with the system on a chart such as this. Um, you see there was an entry right here. Actually, let me see if I can mark this up for you. Uh, right in this area, actually it's right here, the entry, and you get a nice move up. You had another one in this area here, and a nice move. You had a nice one here, and, a, and you see they, they typically just go in your, in your way uh, right off the start so you're not sweating it in any way but that's the advantage of trading a chart like this is it's it's so much easier to trade so much easier to predict the the trend and just jump on and ride that wave okay um, and one thing before I get to Baidu there's a third moving average on my chart here in red this is the 200 day simple moving average I keep that on my my charts all the time just for a point of reference. I'm sure as we run through these examples, uh, we'll, we'll see how when price gets to the 200, how it seems to stall and then bounce from there. And it typically gives you some really good entry points. So I just keep that on there as a point of reference. You don't have to if, if you don't like, but I, I do. Now, Ro, you said um, someone was asking for Baidu? Yeah, it was Don that wanted to know about Baidu. Okay, Don, thanks for that. Let's have a quick look at Baidu and bring that up. Okay, so here's Baidu. Now, you got, well, right off the bat, thanks, Don, uh, for making my point here. You see in this area here in the middle of the screen how price was above the 200. It pulled back. It sort of stalled and traded there for the better part of a month and a half right along that line and then separated and gave us a, a real nice trade to the upside here. Here's the entry back here, right in this area, which was late May, okay? About the third week of May or so. And it, I mean, you could still be in this trade. It was a beautiful trade up. Now, as of right now, there is no valid uh, entry here. What you'll need is a bit more of a retracement back here, allowing the shorter term moving average to at least come back and, and kiss that longer term and then separate upward, if not move below and then back above. And then you look for all the proper criteria, meaning the price bars uh, above both moving averages and a positive CMF. So you'll have to give this one 
a bit more time for the next setup. Thanks so much for that, Don. Uh, a lot of people want to know about Google. Valerie, Jackie, Mike, and Quinn. Absolutely. Thank you all for that. Let's have a look at Google. Okay. Um, I don't know why it's only giving me half the chart here, but let's see. Uh, Google has had a significant pullback lately. So I'm not even sure if this, let me try to refresh this because it doesn't seem to be all the data I need. Oh yes, okay, thanks for that. No, sorry, I'm, of course. Thanks for that, I put in G-O-O-G, the old symbol. I gotta, forgot to add the L, thanks. Here we go. So here's another reason why I use the 200-day uh, the moving average. Again, it bounced right off. It gave us a nice trade there. But uh, just as a point of reference to further uh, help you decide whether the market is in an uptrend or a downtrend, okay? And recently, you can see Google has been in an uptrend all year. Uh, had a significant bounce earlier in, or, or drop in earlier in the year and recovery and now has been pulling back. So you can see the lower term moving average is below uh, the longer term here. Now it, it looks like it's, it's stalling a bit. We'll have to give this some more time to see if it is going to hold this 200 day and bounce back up and give us a nice trade to the upside or if it's going to break through and if it does then we'll look for a, a pullback, a retest of that level, and uh, the next drop lower for an entry single short. So this is one that uh, may need some time to play out. But again, you you need to wait for all these setup criteria to be in place before you take either a long or short trade. Okay, this one's sort of in between. So again, we'll need some more time with this one. Because there's a lot of symbols. I see Kara, Dale, sure. uh, Craig, Yolanda. I see all of your symbols. I'm going to see if I can get to all of them. Um, Michael wanted to know about BlackBerry. BlackBerry, sure. P V R Y. I, I've got to be honest. I wanted to know about BlackBerry. I know. You know, I got in <laughs> the top seventy-six, right? That's why I chuckled. Sorry, I don't mean to laugh. But um, now, you know what? Uh, BlackBerry obviously has been one of these crazy choppy stocks. Okay, if you take the indicators off your chart, are you really going to want to trade this? Maybe not. Okay, uh, but having said that, again, it's in that similar position as Google right now, where um, you know there is no clear setup here. We have to wait for either uh, a, a bounce higher, where the shorter term moving average in yellow moves back above the blue, and the price bars move above both, and CMF goes positive, or we wait for it to break. Uh, the 200 and go lower and give us a setup to the short side. Okay, we'll need some more time for that. Thank you for that. Stan wanted to know about Netflix. Netflix, that's another favorite for many people. Netflix is what we would call one of those monster stocks. Now, actually, this is one you do want to put on your watch list. Thanks for that. Um, you can see here again. Here's this 200 day and it, it, it held for a while and then popped up very nicely, gave a huge trade. Look at this trade back here, um, right off to 200, where it signaled right, what was it, in, again, the, around the third week of May or so, and went on to new highs. But look, you can see the turn in the shorter term moving average. It's already sloping higher here. And the longer term has flattened out as well. So this one is a lot closer than the last couple we looked at. What, again, what you want to wait for is for the yellow to cross the blue, make sure the price bars are still above both, and shaking money flow is above zero, which it already is here. And then you're in to the long side. If you get that trigger, highs are very near by here. You typically get uh, new highs in Netflix. So add that one to your watch list. Thank you for that, Stan. Vince, we talked about this one last time. I hadn't seen it before. We did the last one of these sessions. Mm -hmm. um, Pete wants to know about TRN, Trinity. TRN. Sure, okay, so TRN, you know, what do you notice here? It's a nice trending stock, right? A nice nice upslope. And if we look back, nice easy trades. I mean, here was one right here, again, in late April, okay? Beautiful entry, straight run up. Uh, another one, uh, well, actually this one, let me bring up my crosshairs to see if this one actually would have triggered there. 
Yeah, it would have triggered right in this area here. Uh, you can see the CMF was positive at that time, gave us a nice entry. But looking at, at the current state right here, it's pulled back. And again, a similar situation to a lot of stocks recently. You're going to see this pattern on most uh, stocks because of this recent decline. But again, you can add these to your watch list and wait. If the market bounces, typically you will get this yellow shorter term moving average moving above the blue and then you'll have all your proper uh, criteria in place for a long entry. So uh, unfortunately nothing ready to go with that one yet, but keep it on your watch list as well. Thank you for that. Uh, There's quite a few people asking uh, about Sandy, Valerie, Alan, Ken, Christine, all asking about Apple. Oh, sure. I this is yeah. the most popular one that it, we do yeah, every session, is, isn't it? It is, it really is. And uh, again, <clears throat> actually this was one where we, we had that, we took that trade in our, um, this was one of our alerts recently. But um, this one, you can see how the, with this recent pullback here, the shorter term moving average has been getting closer to, to the longer term in blue here. So remember, it doesn't have to cross below and then back above, okay? But as long as it touches it and then separates, that's enough. So you'll need to give this a bit more time uh, for that to happen and separate to the upside. And of course, the price bars will have to move back above. But this is one, you know, obviously, if you look to your left here, Apple's been very strong recently, uh, still looks very bullish. And again, if, if you get that set up, uh, it certainly looks like it'll move on to new highs. So another good one for the watch list. Thank you to all of you for that. Uh, Craig wanted to know about PSX. Sure, let's bring that up. Phillips. Okay, well, this one um, is interesting only because it just seems to be trending higher here recently. Um, you again, you you need a couple of down days for the yellow moving average to come back for the blue. Whenever you see this setup, it looks like okay. Well, it recently set up. You know, I haven't missed much. Maybe I could jump in. No, don't don't use the system that way. Um, wait for a proper setup. Again, there's going to be many setups that you'll find uh, with this. You you can afford to be picky and wait for the right ones. Okay, so um, again, this one like several others you'll have to give a bit more time to. Thank you for that. Vince, I'm watching the clock, not, not to worry. We're going to do two more. Okay. And I'll let you get back to your presentation. Um, can we do a Forex one? Uh, sure. Sherry yeah, we'll wanted to, thank you Sherry for bringing that up. Can we do Australian, Australian dollar, Japanese yen? Sure, let's bring up the Aussie yen here. Well, <laughs> okay, nice. Um, you can see, I mean, when you first look at this, if you were to remove the indicators off your chart again, go through that exercise, what do you see? You don't really see a nice trend, right? You see big large bars back and forth. It's it's kind of crazy, right? So not the ideal uh, type uh, of underlying to trade, but interesting formation here. You can see on this pullback, the pullback happened in two, two days here. The yellow is just about touching the blue now. And not only do you uh, do looks, excuse me, does it look like we have a bounce off the 200? It's the second one in a while. And you can see both on, on hammer candlestick patterns. That's We'll save that for another day. But when you get uh, a stock opening here, drives lower and then pulls back and closes very close to where it opened, that's a hammer candle. The longer the width, the better. And it looks like it wants that again. So if this bounces back above the two moving averages and you get that separation again, you will have a nice trade to the setup here on the Aussie Yen. So this one should sort itself out very soon. Another good one to, to watch. Thank you for that, Sherry. Uh, Alan wanted to know about BBY. Now, I know this one may even be on your watch list. It was actually. You know what? We, myself and a couple of traders came in a little early this morning. We wanted to um, uh, pick out a couple of uh, set, uh, things setting up now because uh, sometimes when we do these these webinars and we go through the live search where people are, are just throwing out symbols, we don't we might not come across a trade that's ready to go right now. So we wanted to have something for you just in case, but luckily some someone brought that up anyway. So Best Buy here, BBY, 
you can see on some horrible news earlier in the year really got down strongly below the 200 has been there ever since has retested it twice recently and now bounced lower and what do we see here we see the yellow uh, moving average moving below the blue it's already done so price bars are below both and look at the CMF it's turned negative so this is a valid setup here now what you're waiting for uh, this week before you get in because there's a difference between a setup and a trigger the difference is you want to wait for a trade below um, the recent lows here before you get in. You want to make sure that it is going to continue to the downside. So you want to wait for a low here. If you want to draw a little trend line right across these two lows, and if it breaks that, then you can you have a valid entry to the short side. So who was that that, that brought that up? Tony, I think it was. Uh, there were a few people that actually brought up BBY. There was Ellen. Great. Um, and it was Terrence that brought that up. Great. Thank you for that. So you can Thank put you. that on your watch list for next week. And it's 15 minutes before we need to, to sign up and you need to get back to your presentation. Sure. Why don't I just finish up? If we have time after uh, I finish up, I'll be glad to bring up my charts and look through a few more for you, okay? So give me a quick second just to bring this back up. Now, we, we have covered a lot of material, but uh, unfortunately there's, there's way too much for us to cover in, in the hour we have together. So. For, for any of you who are serious about making money with this system, we have a class coming up, our Three Simple Steps to Profit Pro class coming up um, in a couple of weeks, Saturday, August 23rd, 3 p.m. Eastern. It's typically a two-hour class, but, but it usually goes a little longer. The last one we did was closer to three hours. Um, and during this class, I'll be teaching it myself. I'm going to show you absolutely everything you need to get started with this right after that, that class. Now, uh, if this time doesn't work for any of you or you're overseas, et cetera, um, the, the event will be recorded, so you won't be missing anything. Now, again, I'm going to be showing you everything you need with the system right from scratch. I'm going to take everything off your, your charts. For any of you just starting out, I'm going to show you how to add these indicators on there, set them up as a default so you can set them, forget it, and not have to worry about it again. Now, I'm going to give you that secret sauce that we refer to, the specific settings of the actual indicators, okay, that will allow you to use this um, successfully. And uh, I'm going to also go into more than just this system. We, we have two to three hours together. There's a, a lot more time to cover material. I'm going to give you a nice little trick that I'm going to show you how to combine technical indicators to really take your trading to the next level, okay? And, and one of the best parts of this class is the second half where we are going to do a live scan together looking for new trades coming up that following week. So I'm going to share with you the watch list that we use here and that we search through every evening for trades and we're going to do a search together. Okay? I'm going to show you exactly how we do it. we we'll do it together. We're going to all hopefully walk away with some trades that coming week that will more than than uh, the may up for this. Now, tradingwinds.com forward slash simple is the link you want to go to. Uh, I think we can type it into your uh, your screen there, the chat box. You can follow it from there. Now, what will you be getting here? You will get a, a recording of the previous class we did. Because this event is two weeks out, okay, we don't want you to have to wait. So we're going to actually send you a recording of the previous class we did. I think, again, it was about two hours, 45 minute uh, class. And so you can watch that. We'll try to get that out to you this evening even, okay? So you can have all of uh, tonight and tomorrow to review it and get started with this on Monday. It will also be a great opportunity for you to um, uh, jot down any questions you have while you go through that and bring those to the class. Because not only will you get the recording, which is uh, sold for 297 but you also get a seat at the class on the 23rd, another $297 value, and we're going to throw in a 30-day membership to our pro service. Now, what we do in our pro service is every evening from Sunday to Thursday, we record videos that we send out where we quickly recap what the markets did that day and where we believe they're going next. We also uh, review our open positions and also uh, highlight several new trade setups uh, setting up. And um, 
We also included in that is the official alerts that we send out for the entries and the exits that we take on the actual trades that, that our traders here do uh, as well. So now, together, that's a $691 value, but we're not asking you to pay that today. For anyone on this webinar today, all we're asking for is $97, okay? Again, it's tradingwins.com forward slash simple. Now, I do want to warn you, we do limit this class to the first 25 people, okay? Um, during that class, we get a range of beginners to experts. We want to make sure that all questions get answered and that the attendees get to walk away with uh, everything they need to start trading this right away, okay? So, um, you know, if, if you're not one of the first 25, we can, we'll certainly get you that recording and, and try to slot you in in another event later. Um, but for that class on the 23rd, the first 25 will we'll get a seat. Okay, now, we're not interested in, in selling you anything that you can't use, okay? So if for some reason you're not happy with the class, which I, I really doubt it, 100% um, money back guarantee without a problem. Okay? I'm just going to put up on the screen a few things that some of our previous attendees said. Uh, Kirby, one of our recent attendees, said he, what he really liked about it was its simplicity. And it really is. Um, he, you'll see that once you get started with this and go through the exercise of reviewing charts, looking for those setups, you'll see how quickly and easily you'll spot it. And again, we didn't have time to go through the exit strategies today. But during the class on that Saturday, I'm going to highlight five different ones. One specifically that I myself and the other traders here use uh, consistently. It works really, really well. Now, um, Julie, who attended one of our, our previous sessions, where just like today we highlighted BBY uh, as a trade, she walked away with a trade on AT&T and, and Whole Foods Market. Said she made many times her money over uh, on that uh, on those trades compared to what she paid for the session so and, and also Carlos was an options trader like many of you here has really gone off and done really well uh, taking some really nice options trades with this system again long calls long puts is all you need okay so again if you don't love it we don't want it and we don't want your money um, we are so confident you're gonna really love this uh, that we're offering this money back guarantee Again, first 25 people actually get into that class. We'll send you a recording tonight of a previous class. I will give you the 30-day membership. Um, and now that 30-day membership, uh, at the end of the 30 days, if you love it, you don't have to do anything. It will renew uh, at a price of 97 a month. But if you don't want to continue, just send us a note, and we'll cancel your membership at that point. Again, it is tradingwins.com forward slash simple is the link. Uh, Raul, if we have any other questions. we got lots of questions. We've Great. got seven minutes. I can Great. probably fill up an hour with the questions that we have. <laughs> no uh, problem. And the stock symbols that people want to know about. Sure. I just wanted to remind folks of one thing. I see a lot of people ordering online. Uh, you can also contact us by telephone, 1-888-574-2426. We'll have one of our tech guys put that in the uh, in the chats right now. 1-888-574-2426. We are live on chat on the website as well. And of course, you can send us an email uh, at any time, info at tradingwinds.com. When you are ordering, you will see an option to upgrade to the pro subscription. Please do not choose that option. It is included in the $97. So when you buy this package, everything is included for a month. Vince, Gary wants to know what exactly is included in that monthly subscription. Oh, the, the pro membership? Sure. Yes. Again. Sunday to Thursday, we record videos. Uh, we'll send you to you by email. They're typically anywhere from three to eight minutes or so where we quickly recap the uh, market action from that day. Uh, look forward to, to, to uh, what the markets, what we expect the markets to do going forward. And also, uh, we go through our, all our open positions, the ones that we send official trade alerts on. These are the trades that our traders take here. Uh, that we will send alerts on. And we also highlight several new positions uh, every day. Now, a, a real benefit of that, of that is um, that uh, we get trades from several of our traders here, and we highlight all of those on, on, those, uh, on those videos for you, okay? And actually, this is quite timely, but uh, in tomorrow night's video, we were uh, 
we're going to make an announcement of a new feature that we're adding there. So I, I, I can't unfortunately release it today. It would be unfair to our members. But tomorrow night, we have an announcement on, on that video of a new uh, added value feature we're, we're adding to the video. So uh, this is really timely for you. I hope you can join us. Uh, it, it's a great opportunity. What we really try to do with those videos is to help you with your trading. Because as we review the charts, not only are we looking at new trade setups with the system, but um, you know we're, we're technicians. So when we see something on a chart, we'll explain it. So there's a lot of little tidbits that you get each each evening in those videos. They're they're really good. We've had some great feedback on those. Uh, thank you for that, Mark, Melissa, Walter, uh, and a few other people. Excuse me. They wanted to know how many trades can they expect this system to identify every month? Uh, again, um, if you're trading on the daily time frame, on average you can expect around 10 or 12 trades a month. That's being picky and being selective. Again, you, you'll typically see more setups, but the, the, the perfect ones, so to speak, um, the best ones, you'll see about 10 or 12 uh, in a month um, on a daily time frame. Of course, if you're trading intraday, you'll be a lot more active. And again, just to remind you, the two intervals when you're trading um, intraday are 15 minute and hourly that work best, okay? Thank you. Uh, question from Ron, Gary, David, and Yolanda. Sure. What kind of portfolio size do you need to be able to use this system? The reason I bring this up, remember Julie, the testimonial yeah. that she brought up? She was starting with a $1,000 uh, exactly. portfolio. Exactly. So you don't need something big, but it can also work if you have a significant size. That's portfolio. right. I, I, again, the money management rules are, are based on percentages that the starting amount really doesn't matter. If you follow those rules, you, you will do quite well. Now, of course, if you have a larger account, you can even reduce that number to 2.5% in each trade and still have a sizable trade. But with a smaller account, the real benefit of this that we found or received a lot of feedback on was during those times when the market's trending strongly, whether it's up or down doesn't matter, but when it's trending strongly and you get the series of winners, it'll quickly help you build up your account, especially if you're an options trader as well. Uh, again, you know, throwing a couple hundred dollars into uh, an option, um, you can do quite well and build up your account uh, quickly. It doesn't take a lot of capital. It doesn't take a lot of experience. Again, the focus on this is simple. That's why we, we call it the three simple steps uh, to profit because it is a very simple yet effective system. So um, if you join us in the class, um, the rest of the information we'll share with you, the theme is the same and is simple, but put together, it all works very well. Thank you. Karen wants to know, what's the best charting charting platform to use for this system? Again, uh, the charting platform you saw me use here today is, is from tradingview.com. We have no affiliation with them, but it's a free system available. There's others that are, are free out there like Big Chart. Bigcharts.com, freestockcharts.com, etc. Um, any trading platform or charting platform that has simple moving averages and the check and money flow indicator, which most have, so just about anyone uh, would be great. Uh, thank you for so much for that. I've got a qu couple of questions from Sherry and Phil saying that they're having trouble getting through on the phone line. Uh, we are getting a lot of orders through on the phone line. Please keep trying. And if you want to get us in alternate ways, info at tradingwinds.com or on chat. Phone number again is one 574 2426 Just to confirm, you do discuss entry and exit points. Jason wants to know that. Yeah, absolutely. Here we didn't have time, but again, I'm, I'm going to cover in the class um, exits, at least five different ones, but spend the bulk of the time on the one method that we use uh, here consistently and also for the option traders out there. We're going to get, uh, we're not going to get deep into into option strategies, but what we will do is just cover the main points you'll need to trade the system with options, meaning we're going to look at which option series you, you should look at buying, you know, how, how far out the expiry should be. Um, we're going to talk a bit about the um, the delta and the thetas, you know, how you go about selecting the right option series to match the trade you're looking at. So we will get into that as well. 
Okay, last question. Sure. Does the CMF work on Forex charts? Barry wants to know that. Uh, yes, it does. Absolutely, it does. Some platforms, uh, it, it won't. It won't show up. But on most, it does. And the system, again, nothing changes. When you're switching from stocks to uh, Forex or futures, uh, the strategy does not change in any way. The indicators are, are supposed to be used uh, exactly the same. Vince, even though I got up at uh, 6 o'clock Pacific today yeah. for to get here, always a pleasure. Thanks so much for all the information. Really do appreciate it. Jeanette, Hubert, thank you so much for uh, letting us be a part of this. We really enjoyed it. Uh, Vince, last word? No, thank you so much. I really enjoyed it. I, I love doing this. And again, I really hope you can, you can join us on the 23rd. Uh, it's a great class. I, I love doing it. And um, I, I really hope you can join us.